giving a flat image an interesting depth pop in Blender is very easy with the hard surface toolbox. This image, as you can see, has absolutely no real depth, but there is a UV parallax, which loosely is a parallax because it's more of a view vector driven UV vector displacement. Don't worry if that sounds confusing, it just works and it can be yours if you want the hard surface toolbox. I won't delete that. I'll go ahead and switch this to regular displacement. If you want the I2M image to mesh setup, this is a real mesh setup and you're gonna have a few things that just automatically happen. There'll be an alpha transparency and a number of other things. You'll have the hard surface toolbox main importer with tons and tons of models. There's not just that, but there's also a custom importer. You'll be able to grab any blend file, say from like my downloads folder and I'll just plug it in and then I can grab any blend file and simply import the object or collection. Now there's a ton of other things like the modifier stack controls so you can move the modifiers, you can change them in the stack, change what is active, and that is gonna be very useful. Now the mirror draw tool is another object manipulator. We just pull up a nice little cube right here, press shift control M on this particular object, when it's active, you'll see that we'll have some very cool gizmo reactions here and some helps. You can always turn up the volume here a little bit with the text size and the help size. We can do the tip scale offset just a little bit and the active line width can come up and then you've got your basic colors. So now when we pull up in any object in object mode, and this is the cool thing, watch this. I press control shift M, watch the modifier as we put this, excuse me, as we put this, mouse in the different positions, you'll see that that line width is now accentuated. I can press F to flip this and flip the axis. Once I move up here, I can flip this axis as well. Left button will place it and right, about, and right button will escape it. And I can press X, Y, or Z respectively, and then F to flip it. So it's an entire modal based on mirror modeling. It's gonna really make your life easy. And one of my favorite things is the storage bin for object properties. I can store the current location rotation scale and give this a slight rotation, maybe even scale it up a touch. Let's store it again. And as you see, we can revert back anytime we want. You can do this with multiple objects in the scene as well. You're gonna grab all of these, do the placement. Let's move this one down, rotate it a little bit, scale it down. Let's put this one up and rotate it just a little bit. And we'll grab both of these, add it again, and we can flip between these positions for rapid prototyping. Now, if you guys are interested in the hard service toolbox, I just upgraded this to V3 for Blender 3.6 to 5.0. Enjoy. I'm Mr. Steve. I made this add-on, and thank you for watching.